Welcome to Quick Tips for Ringing, a YouTube series presented by Alfred Handbell, a division of Ubalate Music Group. Episodes premiere on the 10th of each month and feature a topic of interest for directors and ringers presented by well-known Handbell clinicians, followed by a coordinating musical example. On the 20th of each month, supplemental music for the episode will be posted. Follow Ubalate Music Group on YouTube to be notified of each new release. You can also join us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Our music is available from ubalatemusic.com or your favorite retailer. I'm Sandra Tucker, editor for Alfred Handbell, and today it's my pleasure to introduce Michelle Sherrick, who will present today's lesson on foreign hand. Michelle rings professionally with Sonos Handbell Ensemble, is the founding director of Timbre Ensemble, and she is renowned as a handbell soloist, teacher, and conductor. She designed and is the master teacher for the handbell techniques portion of the Handbell Musicians of America certification curriculum. Welcome, Michelle. Hi there. My name is Michelle Sherrick, and I would like to show you two really useful methods of foreign hand. What is foreign hand? It's any time you ring two bells in your hand. Why is it called foreign hand if you only have two bells in your hand? Because when you have two bells in each hand, you're fully loaded and you have four bells. The first method I'd like to tell you about is Shelly. It's really great for ringing both bells at the same time. So starting with four bells in front of you, take two of your bells and stack them on top of the other two. Note that I can see the note name on all four bells and all four clappers are moving in the same direction. To pick them up, you put your index finger between the bells, your thumb in the lower inside quadrant, and your other three fingers all together in the upper outside quadrant. Notice that the lower outside quadrants are completely empty. When you pick them up, to ring both of them at the same time, you just do your normal preparation strike and follow through, but this time with a pushing motion, as if you're pushing on a door, like this. To damp them, you can pull them back to your shoulder, or you can put them on the table. The second method I'd like to show you is called ring and push. It looks very much like a Shelly, except that the bell on top of the stack is rotated. Notice I can still see the note name on the bottom bell, but the top bell, I cannot. I can see through the loop of the handle. The little bell pictures are here on the side towards my body. This is a really great method for ringing the bells separately because each of the clappers move in different direction. The bottom bells, those clappers, move straight forward. These bells, the clappers, move this way. You pick them up the same way you did Shelly. Index finger between, thumb in the lower inside quadrant, the other three fingers all together in the upper outside quadrant. And again, notice that the lower outside quadrant is completely empty. This time when you pick them up, to ring your primary bell, which is the bell between your thumb and your first finger, is your regular ringing stroke. Preparation, strike, and follow through like this. Now in order to damp it, you can either use your thumb like I did, or you can pull it back to your body. To ring the secondary bell, which is the bell that's between your index and your middle fingers, is just like we did for the Shelly. Preparation, strike, and follow through, but with a pushing motion, like this. And again, you can either damp it on your shoulder or on the table. Now I said ring and push was really good for ringing the bell separately, but you can also ring them together. And in order to do that, Halfway between ring and push is about 45 degree angle like this. Now you just do preparation, strike, and follow through in a forward motion. There's no need for any kind of flinging or wrist flicking or anything like that. Just like this. And to damp them, you can pull back to your shoulder this way or on the table. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to email me at michelle.sherrick at gmail.com. And remember, there's only one L in Michelle. Thanks. Thank you very much, Michelle. That was wonderful. Now sit back and enjoy one of our best-selling Christmas releases, Santa Baby, arranged by Nick Hansen.
Thank you for watching Quick Tips for Ringing. Michelle Sherrick is available to teach in person and online. You can find her contact information as well as information about her upcoming book on her website, handbellmusic.com. Do tune back in on September 20th for our supplemental music. And on October 10th, our special guest will be Stevie Berryman. You won't want to miss that. Thank you. Thank you.